Hi, I'm Jared Hyman, an assistant professor of chemistry at Elon University. Today, I'll be performing a demonstration from the Nylon Synthesis Chemistry Kit from Carolina Biological Supply Company. Every day, we encounter numerous examples of how chemistry and science have developed new materials to improve our lives. One broad category that has greatly changed society is polymers. A polymer is a substance that is composed of many smaller repeating subunits known as monomers. Poly meaning many and mer meaning units. You can think of a polymer as a long string of interlinked paper clips where each paper clip is identical to the one next to it but creates a long chain. The properties of polymers are controlled by the length of the chain and the chemical identity of the monomer. Length of polymer chains can range up to several thousand monomers. Several examples of polymers include polystyrene, styrofoam cups, and polyethylene, the plastic bags. Another very common polymer is nylon. In this experiment, we'll combine our diamine, 1,6-hexane diamine, with semicoil chloride, a substituted dicarboxylic acid. When these two monomers combine, we will form repeating amide bonds separated by either six carbons from the 1,6-hexane diamine or 10 carbons from the sebequoil chloride. When 1,6-hexane diamine combines with the sebequoil chloride, we form repeating amide bonds, creating a polymer known as nylon 610. To make nylon, we simply place the two monomers in the presence of each other. First, obtain a 100 milliliter beaker and pour in about 25 milliliters of the 1,6 hexane diamine. Tilt the beaker slightly and slowly pour in an equal amount of sebequoil chloride. You can see the two liquids remain in two distinct layers. Now, our polymer is forming at the interface between these two liquids. We can extract our nylon using a wire with a small hook on the end, such as a bent paper clip. Lower the paper clip directly into the bottom layer and pull up slowly past the interface. You will observe a strand of nylon being pulled out of the solution. You can wrap up the nylon and continue to pull additional polymer. The extracted nylon can be rinsed with water and is safe to handle. The material we just created is identical to the synthetic thread used in clothing, stockings, tents, brushes, and more. Everything you need to perform this demonstration is available in the Nylon Synthesis Chemistry Kit from Carolina Biological Supply Company. Visit us at carolinachemistry.com to see our complete line of products and kits for chemistry.